فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل بالرباء الخير The world out there teaches you that a woman is just an object of sexual amusement. Believe me, they can say what they want, but that is how the women are being treated. Like I said yesterday, in one of the programs I had, people say Muslim women are being forced to wear what they are wearing. The reality is the rest of the world is being forced to wear what they are wearing. Why? It's a different way of forcing. It's just a more intellectual, smart way of forcing. You see a sister or someone perhaps in a different part of the world wearing heels that are this high and they become higher. She cannot walk. Look at how high it's becoming. She cannot walk. She has calluses on her feet. She's struggling. But because the telly has brainwashed her, society has conned her. The movies have really knocked her brain out. The big brothers and reality shows have really taught her something and made her believe it's her freedom yet it's knocked her out because she's suffering in those shoes but she will not leave her home without those shoes who was forced who is being forced she she will wear a mini skirt so mini that it becomes a maxi shirt rather than a mini skirt really and she will do it why because of the same thing She's out with the telly every day. The games she plays, everything on there is showing her how short the skirt should be. May Allah protect us. And then when she goes out, she looks at everyone else and says, they are forced. Sister, you were forced and compelled to do what you are doing, but in a smart way. Remember that. May Allah protect us. They are judging you based on the texture of your legs. This is what they are judging you by. They are judging you by how your hair flies in the wind. I've spoken about this in the past at length. And I've even told you about Pantene and head and shoulders and everything else, mashallah. Molten brown and what have you. May Allah protect us. We don't want to be molten red in the fire of Jahannam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. So my sisters, it's just a matter of understanding. Islam teaches you to be a pure person. That's it. People are not forced. But at the same time, they accept a faith that governs them with certain rules and regulations. They are doing so happily by the will of Allah. They want happiness. They do not want to be. They do not want to be controlled by the male dominated environment around them because they are good Muslims. If you take a look at a lot of what's happening on the globe, like I said, life is reduced to entertainment, the clothing, we are affected by the advertising, the aggressive media and the social networking and the norms of society have put so much pressure on us that we will not come out of the home with hijab. Why? Because society will frown upon us. Who is being forced? Who is being forced? And how are they being forced? Who is the good Muslim here? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us vehicles of promoting goodness.